Good evening. Welcome to Fashion and Textiles Careers. That's kind of a fancy term for sewing two, three, and four. They are a combined class because everyone in this class has different skills. So we make sure that everyone meets those skills and continues to build them. So I am Amy Rice and I have been teaching sewing at Penn High School since 1990. And before that I taught at Grissom. I've had probably several of you parents over the years and um, I've really enjoyed the opportunity to teach a skill that is something that's lifelong. So this course, because it is advanced, does require a sewing machine at home. So if that's an issue, I've had students let me know and we are making plans um, to make sure that your child has a sewing machine to work on. So they also are going to need a designated workspace and that designated work workspace space is for specifically to sew at. And they won't have to do that every day, but they will need it in order to work on their projects. And that's really super important. It doesn't have to be big, doesn't have to be an entire room, although maybe your child's trying to convince you they need their own sewing room, but just a sp space where they can um, set up their sewing machine and be able to sew. They also maybe need some space for cutting and that's just a temporary thing. It doesn't have to be permanent. So a lot of times I use my kitchen counter at home or my island, um, but I try to put something underneath there just to make sure that there's no leftover food at any time or a stain or anything that could stain their project. First semester projects, there's going to be four of them and we will work at, at our own speed and so forth, but we'll do it during work, during class time. So um, we're gonna do an upcycle project where they're using a, a garment of their own um, or one that they found at Goodwill or from a friend who doesn't want it anymore, but they're gonna upcycle it, improve it and make it into a new wearable garment. They're going to also make a non apparel. So that means something that you don't wear, whether that would be, um, oh gosh, there's all sorts of different types of things that we can make, but maybe it's a book cover, maybe it's a quilt, maybe it's um, dog clothing. So that's wearable, but not for humans. So there's a large gamut of different choices for non-apparel. A gift project is um, the next one where you have to make something you're going to give away to someone, as well as a free choice project. So it's whatever you want to make, but it has to be sewn and it has to be legit. And ha all of these have to use, um, the last three have to have a, a commercial grade pattern. Second semester, you have to pick four on that list, shirt, skirt, dress, coat, jacket, pants, shorts, four of those different projects. So you can, what's really neat is that students in this class can choose something that's super difficult or um, something that's a little bit more, um, less challenging. It just depends on where they're at with their capabilities. So digital documentation is required. And so that means at home, I need your fabric beforehand, your pattern that you're using, um, maybe a picture from that or a video of you laying out your um, their, their pattern and getting ready to cut it or pictures of it already cut and so forth. They need to then put it into a collage and make sure that um, it has the steps throughout it and um, they can consult with me anytime that they're struggling. So each day we will get together, we'll share where we're at, what we're working on and, and at what point they are in their project and we will work. People can ask, I will demonstrate new techniques and we'll go from there. So hopefully we're face to face before um, too long, but uh, not before it's on, you know, that it's not safe. So if you have any questions, please email me. You can reach me at arice at phm.k12.in.us. And I hope you enjoy watching your videos tonight of your child's uh, classes and have a good evening.